Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today's reaction video is going to be called 15 Differences Between Muhammad and Jesus. And before we start, we got Yusuf. Yep, yep. And Jerry. Jarrell. Jerry. Jerry, Jerry. Jerry Atrick. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get into it. 15 Differences Between Muhammad and Jesus. 1. Identity. Muhammad claimed to be a man, inspired by God, but Jesus claimed to be godlike. That's that's a uh, fair, like that's false. Even in the Bible, Jesus did not claim to be God. No. You know that, right? Like, <laughs> what? Okay, get get get. Worshiping the Father. Yeah, like how? Asking the Father for him. Yeah. He declared, "I and the Father are one." Two. Are one in purpose. If you finish, <laughs> if you finish the, the the verse and it says the disciple and them are also one, so that means the disciples are also God. Explain that. Yeah, what? 2. Sin. Muhammad did not claim to be sinless. He was human and asked forgiveness for his faults. Jesus lived a sinless life. He really? <laughs> hey, let me ask you this. Calling someone a dog, do you think that's a sin? If I call you, you're a dog. Yeah. That's a sin, right? Yeah. Do you think that's a sin, right? Well, Jesus calls somebody a dog Got him. in the Bible. That's a sin. What? Like, what, what, what are we talking about, bro? He was tempted but did not sin. Okay, so God was tempted. God was definitely tempted. <laughs> Do you know what that means, Jarrell? That means... Their God was definitely tempted. So, if, I, if somebody, if a girl tempts you to do something, mm -hmm. does that mean you're divine? Does that mean that you have all the power? Exactly. That means you're tempted. That means you're weak. That means, yeah, yeah, you're someone really weak. Yeah. yeah. You're tempted. Like, he thought about it, like, shit, I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's like... You, but you then, nah, like, nah. Yeah. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Okay. He told an angry crowd, ready to stone a woman. Three, marriage. Muhammad had multiple wives, including a child bride. I don't know why they, they keep... They, they love circling this argument. I don't know why they keep showing his face. I know. And they also want to say about the child bride. Mm -hmm. Literally, Isaac was married married a three year old Rebecca, in your Bible. Yeah, Rebecca? literally three years old. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Nobody from that time called the prophet a, a pedophile or any, like a PDF, PDF file or anything like that because it was a custom in their life. I mean, let's play into that narrative. Let's say that were ever true, there would be statements of that. Would, would they it, not be? We mean st statements. Like statements of him being a soul. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Nobody at that time called him that. Yeah. But if you look in Christianity and Judaism, literally, they literally were like, Rebecca was three years old. Literally, your church father said this, like in the commentary, they said this. And you know what's funny? Not like like in 18, 18, 10 or something like that, in Delaware, you know what was the age of consent? 12. 10 years old. Damn. No, no, actually seven. Damn. Or something like that. That's why. So what are we talking about? Child bride. Mm -hmm. This child bride thing did not come into existence until like the 1900s. Where the, like, the new, like, the new feminism and all that dumb shit. What are we talking about, bro? Right. Jesus taught marriage is between one man and woman. He remained single. Four. Violent. I, if, so, so hold on. Oh, so he thought it was between one man and one woman, and but he stayed single. <laughs> Interesting. But if you bring them that multiple prophets in the Bible married multiple women, they're going to be like, yeah, they're going to be like, well, they disobeyed God. That's it shows the difference between us Muslims and, and non-Muslims. They believe prophets disobeyed God. Mm -hmm. In our books, the prophets were some of the holiest people. So they're not disobeying God. What are we talking about? Ooh, violence, that's another one. Spread by the sword. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, hold on. This is going to be a good one. Violence. <laughs> Muhammad encouraged fighting unbelievers. He led military. No. He said, fight the ones who attack you. Because most of the fights, most of the battles were, he was on defense. Never on offense, yep. Never on offense. Literally defense. When he was in Medina, people tried to attack him. Attack him. When he was in Mecca, people tried to attack him. What? You're just, just going to stand there? You just yeah, gonna... like... Like he, they. No, 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 turn the other cheek. No, yeah, no, like, please. Turn the other cheek. campaigns against pagans and Jews. 
pagans and Jews, but when, no. when, hold on. But when Jesus comes back, when Jesus comes back, gonna he's do? gonna make people his foot, f- f- uh, foot, footstool. Footstool, yeah. And he's gonna do something with the sword. Mm. He's gonna use the sword. You tell me what he's gonna do with the sword. I don't know. He's gonna shave their heads or he, what? Like I don't know. You tell me what people do with swords. It's all in your Bible. He gave them three options. Convert, pay tax, or die. Damn. Okay. You cannot force people to convert in Islam. And you cannot f- force people to pay tax. Like, if, for example, we're living in the U.S., right? Do you pay taxes, Jarrell? Yes. Do you pay taxes? Yes. I pay taxes. Our taxes go to fund like, stuff that, that we need, right? So if you lived under like a Muslim... A Muslim, what you call it, ruling? Charity. You're gonna have to pay taxes. And it all goes to charity. Yeah, it's, pay, it's it pays for the roads, it pays for the doctors, it pays for the people that do stuff for you. And you know what's funny is I never want to mention this, mm. is that Muslims paid more taxes than the non-Muslims. Mm. Mm-hmm. And for 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 people for the non-Muslims, only the abled ones used to fucking pay it. So like if you're able to to pay it like like if you're like a man that was like able to go to war and stuff like that you pay that older people didn't pay it younger people didn't pay it and they paid less like what are we talking about bro refusing to convert or pay made one eligible for warfare and enslavement Jesus preached nonviolence and loving enemies he loves his enemies so much he's gonna make them his footstool and he's gonna raise the sword against them. Amazing. Whoever is making these dumbass videos needs to get fired. He told his father. Paint a freaking picture. Of course. Yeah. Of course they're trying to paint a picture. Love your enemies. All right. Always to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Five. Prayer. Muhammad instituted Salah prayers facing Mecca. Jesus taught praying to God as a loving father. Six. For- so Jesus did pray to exactly. God. Exactly. Well, so hold on. So. Ooh, let's pause. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot to. Uh, so Jesus was there. God, but he prayed to God. He's praying to himself. Mm. So he's praying to himself. He's standing in the mirror and he's like, "Hey God, it's me, you. you. <laughs> I'm praying for you, me. So forgive us, me, you. Together. Together. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Forgiveness. Muhammad allowed retribution. Punish them with an equivalent of that with which you were harmed. Jesus. Yeah. Like if you harm me or something, I'm going to do it right back to you. But it's better to forgive. Okay. Like how is that bad? Preached forgiveness. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. But if the child disobeys their parents, you kill them. Yeah, that's in the Bible, right? Yeah, I said you, you you if something like if your kids if the kids just obey the father or the parents you put them to death. Now, do these people even like read their Bible, bro? Like, do we know more than the Christians about their faith? I think we do. Bruh, and there was this one verse the other day. Uh, what was it? It's like you cut the hand of your slave or something, something along the lines of that. Oh, like if you beat your slave and he doesn't die, then he's your yeah, property. Your property. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, yeah, then they, they, they'll never bring that. A whole up. lot of forgiveness right there. Yeah, that's a lot of forgiveness right there. Seven, authority. Muhammad ruled as a political and military leader. Jesus did not claim. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. That's, yeah, exactly. Like, we want him to be some, like, some pussies and not do anything. Like, what? Jesus did not claim political authority. He could not because he was under the Romans. So you guys keep claiming Christ is king. He wasn't even a king. He was he was subordinate to the to the Romans. He was under the Romans. And what are we talking about? In political authority, he said, "My kingdom is not of this world." Coping. Mm. My kingdom, my kingdom is not of this world. When people wanted to make him king, he withdrew. He submitted. So hey, according to them, so he's not king. Yeah. Okay. We didn't say it. The Who said it, Jerome? The they're, they're, coming, they're coming with their own facts. He said it, right? Yeah. So when you say Jesus is not king, we didn't say it. They did. Headed to death at the hands of the Roman state. Eight. Love. Muhammad spoke of Allah, 
hating unbelievers. In contrast, Jesus thought that God loves all people, even that's not true. That yeah, that's not true. That's not true. Even your God hates the non-believers too. And, and black people. Oh yeah, there's, there's a lot of racism. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of racism oh yeah, that's that's I'm not. Sure there was like I don't know if it was a hadith or something like that, but it was true. Oh wait, or was it about like the heavens or something like that? If like the first earth was worth anything to Allah, that he he wouldn't even give a non-believer like a sip of water or something like that. Yeah, but like. Like, look what they said. Hold on, let's see. The narrative is crazy that they're trying to paint. Jesus taught that God loves all people. God does not... No, he doesn't. God loves all people, even enemies. He came to offer salvation to the whole world. Nine. Jesus did not come for the whole world. Like, what? Like, they're not reading their Bible, bro. Jesus literally said, I only came for the lost sheep of Israel. Israel. He didn't even come for all the Israel. The, sh the people of Israel, not the land, like the son of Israel, like the, the son of, that's Jacob. It, it, Jacob is Israel. So when we say the sons of Israel, that means we're saying the sons of Jacob. Yeah. He didn't even come for all of them. He came for the lost mm -hmm. sheep of Israel. So that means there were good ones and there were the bad ones. He only came for the bad ones. He didn't come for all of them. Mm -hmm. So... And there's also the one where the lady was like, where her daughter was possessed. And he was like, no, you're a Gentile. You're a dog. So I'm not going to give you, like, I'm not going to help you up because you're not a Jew. <laughs> but you're telling me that he came for all the world? <laughs> Please. And literacy. Muhammad was illiterate and unable to read or write. The yeah, that's true. That shows a miracle that he could not yeah. write. The, he could not write the Quran. That means the Quran came from God, from somewhere else, not from him. Quran was relayed to others verbally. Jesus could read and write. He is called the Word made flesh. But yet, till this day, we don't find not one Bible of Jesus. All we have is Bible of Paul, Bible of Luke, Bible of John, Bible of Matthew, Bible of blah, 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 Nothing blah. Nothing from the first to the third century. Exactly. And nobody knows these people. What's their first last name? You know, there's three Johns. They don't know which John. They really don't know which John wrote John. They have three possibilities of which John wrote John. And the Quran being memorized, bro, that shows the, the perfection, the preservation of, of a scripture, bro. Exactly. You get one person from one area to another oh, person. Oh, not you to burn me. all the scriptures. Yeah. So you recite it word for word, letter for letter. Yeah. And he will like, tell like you right now, lines, right if you throw all the scriptures in the sea and we can't retrieve them, and you say, write the scriptures from your memory. Who do you think is going to have the scriptures all back? Quran only. There's nobody on earth that knows the word for word, the Bible. Because you know why? Because different denominations have yeah. different books. <laughs> the, the, the Catholics have 88 books. You can have them arguing. Yeah. Back and forth. The Romans have like the, yeah, the Romans have like 56 books, 70, like every denomination has different books. But you know what they're going to say? Mm. The Quran is different Qur'at. Oh, I've heard that argument before. Different Qur'ans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's different pronunciations. Exactly. It's the same meaning. Mm -hmm. It's like when you have somebody from the South and somebody from the East Coast. The way they say words is totally different, but the same meaning same still. Meaning, yeah. But these people, they never read Arabic, they never studied Arabic, they're not going to understand it. So. His teachings were recorded by eyewitnesses. Ten. Voice of God says, recorded by I wish. His teachings were recorded. <laughs> Ain't none of the people. Okay. Eyewitnesses. Recorded by eyewitnesses. 10. Voice of God. Muhammad was spoken to by the angel Gabriel. Jesus claimed God directly spoke from heaven. There's no problem with that. God can, and God, when when Prophet Muhammad went to the seventh heaven, he spoke to God directly. So what are we talking about? Don't make don't make half of the research. Do the full research. Eleven associates. Muhammad had close associates like Abu Bakr and Umar. They aided him in his campaigns and conquests. Jesus' closest associates were twelve disciples. They were mostly fishermen and outcasts. They abandoned Jesus at his arrest and crucifixion. Twelve. Man, that's pretty sad. They abandoned him. Damn. Damn. They're not real homies. Mm -hmm. They went down in flames, bro.
Let's see, let's see the miracles. Let's hold on the miracles. Let me hear, let me hear. Miracles. Islamic tradition says Muhammad performed no miracles. Yo, so we're just gonna completely disregard the, the moon split? We're gonna... The moon split is a miracle. The Quran itself is a miracle. Exactly. You know that, right? Quran came, came as a miracle because at that time the Arabs were so good with Arabic, they were literally poets, right? So there, what, what is another way of challenging them? Is to bring something that the poets themselves, the pr super professional poets, couldn't even replicate. Didn't know what it was. Like at the time, at the time of uh, the time of Moses, what were they known for? They were known for black magic. They were known for magic. And what did what did Moses perform? Magic. Magic, but it's not really magic because even the magicians were like, "This is not magic. This is some other something other than magic. It's from God." God. Yeah. Every prophet had a miracle. The moon split. That's literally recorded by non-Muslims mm. from different different places in the world. Yeah, Hindu scriptures. Right? H Hindu, like Hindu, 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 like yeah. Time, yeah, Hindu, uh, what should call it? Hindu articles and Hindu whatever. From we don't need it to uh, justify our stuff, but it's literally that he says no miracles. <laughs> oh my God, bro! But Jesus healed the sick, walked on water, and raised the dead by the. Will of God. Exactly. So, I don't know, these people, bro. <laughs> Both friends and enemies acknowledged it. The Jewish authorities claimed he performed them by Satan's power. 13. Theft. Muhammad permitted stealing from unbelievers. Jesus That's did weird. not condone theft. That's wild. <laughs> no, because I want to know some context behind that. No context, bro. It's just you the will make this video. You will literally find nowhere in the Islamic tradition where wow. we're supposed to steal from anyone. If anything, we're supposed to give. Wow. It's not. It doesn't matter if you like. It, it, even if they're Muslims, non-Muslims, whatever, you're not supposed to steal from them. Mm -hmm. Where are these people getting this? Sh oh my God. When asked about paying taxes, Jesus said. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. What? What, what, what does this mean? I don't know. Who's Caesar? Caesar was the one that was ruling over him. Mm. So that's why I keep telling you he's not a king. And he even said he's not a king. How are you going to have a king under a king? <laughs> two kings cannot exist at one time, like at the same there's, place. There's no two steering wheels. One, one of them is going to have to be... Yeah. Him. What? Give to Caesar where it is for Caesars and to get like what does that even mean? Like where's the context? Fourteen. Slavery. Muhammad owned slaves and did not forbid slavery. There we go. All right. Slavery literally was forbidden by Muslim and Islam, and the Prophet literally forbade it. It's literally a part of the Quran. Like there's a, there's a, even then. Hold on, Modern hold on. day slavery today is, oh, that's, is, is, is depicted as totally something. Different. Yeah, they're talking about the trans transatlantic slavery. Mm. Slavery back then, slavery nowadays is not the same. Back then it was servitude. So mm -hmm. like exactly, like for example, if you go to war, mm -hmm. right, and you have captors of war, captives of war, you take them with you and you make them your servants. You serve them. Even though, literally in Islam, he comes with different stuff that you need to do. You, you give them, you, they eat from whatever you eat, you dress them from whatever you, you dress from, you treat them the same. But they, you, they just serve you. Mm -hmm. Not the transatlantic slave where they were like lynching people and like <laughs> whipping people. Yeah. 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 It's not the same. So, it's, it's a verse in the Quran that says... Fakuraqaba means freeing a slave. So it's like it's good to free a slave. So whoever made this video is is uh, R E T A R D E D. Jesus made no own slaves. Fifteen. Death. Muhammad died around age sixty one sixty two from natural causes. Sixty three. Well, okay. He was buried in a grave at his house. It is now under the Green Dome Mosque. Jesus died around age thirty three. By crucifixion. 
But you know who, you know, in the Bible, you know what the Bible says about people that die with crucifixion? Mm. You know, they, the, the people that die with crucifixions are, are, are what do you call it? Are like damned and they're thieves. Wow. Right? You know that, right? Mm. Yeah. So the people that die with crucifixion are like thieves and like people are like stuff like that. Like basically bad people. Mm. So what does that tell you? Jesus is bad people, bad person? They're literally like talking crap about Jesus and they don't know it in their own book. And mm, Jesus I can see that has like a, like a humiliation to Yeah, it's like, a so it's yeah. humiliating him. Yeah. The the Bible literally says somebody that dies with crucifixion is this this and then later on you have in the Bible Jesus died by crucifixion. What? What are we talking about, bro? 3 days later, he rose from the dead. So he died. By how did he, did he raise himself up from the dead, or did God raise him up from the dead? Mm -hmm. Let's see if they tell us. He met his followers before ascending to heaven. Christians believe Jesus conquered death and is alive. You cannot conquer death if you die. Mm -hmm. If you sock me out right now, if I tell you, hey, bro, you could never knock me out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you punch me and you knock me out. And then I wake up like three hours later. Hey, bro, I told you you're not going to knock me out. I conquered your punch. I conquered your punch. <laughs> no, bro, you were asleep for three hours. Damn. You were out comatose, knocked out. Logic with them is like non-existent. Alive forever. But whoever made this video is... is, is Sunday roast. Yeah. Anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. How about, how about this for the people who are watching this? Don't learn about Muslims for this. From this, learn about Muslims from Muslim sources. Mm -hmm. Don't let a, a freaking person that has that let AI generator generate some bullshit, and then you be like, "Oh, this is Islam." It's not. But anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Yusuf. Yeah, Yusuf, Jarrell. See you guys next time.